Remarketing is the practice of targeting audiences that have interacted with the advertised website but didn't take a desired action, such as opening an account or making a purchase. As mentioned in the previous lesson, prospecting campaigns can attract new relevant audiences, but those may not convert on their first website visit. With a remarketing campaign, an advertiser has the opportunity to reach them again, with more personalized promotional messages featuring the products or services the audience has demonstrated interest in. A remarketing campaign would basically follow those audiences around the internet by serving ads on the websites and mobile apps they use the most. Remarketing is a practice followed by hundreds of thousands of companies. That's because it's less expensive to re-engage visitors who are really close to converting rather than audiences who haven't interacted with the advertised website yet. Because of that, remarketing campaigns generate a higher return on advertising spend as opposed to prospecting campaigns. To be able to run remarketing campaigns, you will first have to collect website visitor data. To do so, you will have to download a JavaScript tracking code from your DSP and send it to your tag manager or website developer to add it to your website. That tracking code should be added to all the pages of your website. Next, you should create remarketing audience lists in your DSP and target them with programmatic advertising campaigns. There are three main remarketing tactics, the standard dynamic and custom remarketing but let's go through each one of them. Standard remarketing is the practice of creating one audience list, say of website visitors who didn't open an account, and then target it with a generic creative message. In other words, the ad creative doesn't change to adapt its content specifically to each user. When it comes to dynamic retargeting, it is definitely more effective, because ad creatives change to adapt their content specifically to each user, ensuring that each user is exposed to the most relevant promotional message. This remarketing tactic is typically used by e-commerce businesses having a very large inventory of products or services that would otherwise be impossible to promote with personalized ads. Advertisers can also create custom remarketing lists. More specifically, they can use standard or dynamic lists with additional targeting criteria such as demographics, geo, language, and third-party audience segment targeting. Given that remarketing ads follow the target audiences around the internet, Advertisers need to limit how many times a unique user sees a particular ad in a given time frame. Not doing so may annoy your target audience, which can result in creating a bad user experience, something that can negatively impact your conversion numbers. Luckily, all demand-side platforms allow advertisers to limit the number of impressions per user through the frequency capping setting. For example, when an advertiser sets a frequency capping of two impressions per unique user per day, the campaign will deliver up to two impressions per unique user per day. In general, programmatic advertisers must find the optimal ad frequency for their business by carrying out A-B tests and analyzing click-through rates. All the remarketing tactics I have just mentioned can be used when buying media in open and private auctions, or when buying media directly from publishers through preferred and guaranteed deals. In addition to that, advertisers can run remarketing campaigns in any programmatic advertising format such as display, video, native, TV, audio, and digital out-of-home ad format. Last but not least, since remarketing is all about reaching people to remind them to convert, the objective of running remarketing campaigns is usually to drive app installs, increase conversions, or generate revenue.